Welcome to Riverfront Stadium for the first game of the 1972 World Series. The only thing I can see in common between Oakland and Cincinnati is they each have enough talented players to win their league championship. When they started winning, it, it was a fantastic story because they were kind of maybe the closest thing to the Gas House Gang, which was a bunch of characters in the 30s. It was hard to believe that a team that was so controversial could put it all together between the lines. We were underdogs. I mean, we were going up against the Big Red Machine, you know, get uh, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, Tony Perez, the whole crew over there. I don't feel we, we really felt real confident. Here comes Jackson on the way home. lose a caliber of player like Reggie, that's got to have an effect on, on the entire ball club. So we thought we had an advantage going into that series. Kind of worked out where some knucklehead got hot and kind of picked up the slack. Gene Tennis, who hit 225 for the season, five homers, 32 runs batted in. He had only one hit and 17 times up in the playoffs. Gene Tennis, who is this, you know? They never heard of him. No score, top of the second. I don't think they expected anything out of Gene Tennis. I don't even think they scouted him that much. Two down, George Hendrick at first, top of the second. There's a long blast to deep left. That one is going, and it is gone. A home run for Gene Tennis. And the A's grab the lead in the top of the second inning with a two-out, two-run homer by Gene Tennis, who hit only five homers during the year. He was right outside of Cincinnati, that where he was born and raised, and I think that that really pumped him up because all his friends, his mom and dad and everybody was there and they threw the pitch and he hit it. I got in a kind of a zone there, last time I ever been in one. <laughs> and it was uh, pretty special to do something of that magnitude in, in a World Series to have it's not just a game one, but the entire series. Really. There's a long blast to deep left. That one is going and it is gone. A home run for Team Gene Tennis, out of nowhere, came in there, and God, we were in amazement of, of, of what happened, but uh, uh, he certainly uh, got some attention there. Four home runs in the World Series, two in the first game. They go into Cincinnati and nobody gives them a chance. And then, then this guy named Gene Tennis, who nobody knew at the time, becomes the World Series hero and they, and they win in grand fashion. In the early 70s, there wasn't a better team in baseball. 